if it's weird or not, but I, I had the sense that I was being followed, if you know what I mean. I was being watched. I had that in Moscow. <laughs> As it happens, I was. You are, though, aren't you, really? Yes, I was on that occasion. In fact, uh, it was the first time the, t well, not maybe not the first time, but certainly the first time for me that the tables have ever been turned on the KGB. Because, as you know, I'm a member of the KGB. Yeah. So I thought, well, you know, what are you doing following me, mate? This is not fair. It's my turn to follow you. Uh -huh. So we followed him for 20 minutes. He didn't like it very much. <laughs> oh, he got a bit uptight, did he? Anyway, Luke. Yeah. Not wishing to interrupt Mr. Perry there, but, um, but yes, I the, know. the graveyard. He goes on a bit, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so now listen, right in front of me, Luke, I have a switch. If I press it, you're gone. All right, <laughs> yes, out into yes. the ether. So yes. behave. Oh, sorry, Mr. Uh, uh, the, Perry. The seat eject, yeah. Yeah, now, the eject button, I see. <laughs> Luke, you were in the graveyard, and you're with Vermissus, were you? That's right, yeah. All right. Well, um... Do you ever get that feeling you're being watched? You know, you, uh, I sensed it. Yes, it was shivering. Hor yeah, it was bloody horrible, it was. Uh, I wish I'd have seen something just to rest my own mind, if you know what I mean. Not the hackles on the back of the head <laughs> Not going that bad, up. But yeah, I would have gone, I would be gone. So I've had that. I must admit, it, it is pretty scary. What do you put it down to? Uh, well, I suppose it's uh, the mind playing tricks, I would imagine. What, you I hadn't... So. You didn't see any... Uh, any ghoulies or ghosties or things. Only on the video. <laughs> <laughs> Only the videos I watch, that's the way it is. I, I wish I had had have seen one, you know. Because it would have explained the feeling. Yes, right, yeah. You yeah. know, just exactly what was there. What about you, were, you, your, uh, your uh, lady, what did she feel? It was pretty much the same. You just know, I, it's, it's pr pretty weird, if you know what I mean. Next question, what were you doing walking through the graveyard? Next answer. I'm not telling you. Uh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so this wasn't your wife then? Sorry, I'm this... not married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that one in. So <laughs> you were looking for somewhere quiet and yeah. peaceful to, to take right. to take this young lady. Yes. To stargaze. Sorry. To stargaze. Yes, that's right. Mm. Yeah, I understand. Very macho. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they basically, you're ringing, you're ringing us up to tell us that absolutely nothing happened. Oh, I'm not telling you what happened, mate. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I'll just sort of force it out of here, you know. <laughs> but it's nothing to do with the ghosts and ghouls. Well, <laughs> well, well no, I'm what, saying okay. nothing. I'm not making a remark about that. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm making no innuendo about ghosts and ghouls and what happened in the, uh, Graveyard, the churchyard. Yeah. Yes. Well, I woke up Sunday morning and I tell you what, it was looking. I thought I was looking at some sort of ghost. <laughs> Oh, that bad, eh? It was. I had a few beers. Oh, dear. Yes, as Chris Ashley says, he's never been to bed with an ugly woman, but he's woken up with a few. Ah, that's true, yes. Yeah. All, All right. right. It's a, hey, do you know why uh, God invented beer? Go on. So ugly women get it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey? Sexist. Get oh, old yeah. <laughs> Luke, thanks for that. Okay, my friend. You Bye. have a nice night, won't you? Bye for now. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Two, three, two, three, six. Two, three, five. That's the number to call. <laughs> I was just going to say that before the, uh, <laughs> the choir so rudely interrupted. Get down, will you? Get down and get with it. Dear yeah. me. Uh, right, next on the line is Stephen. If you'd like to join us, come on, pick your phone up now. We need your calls here at Beacon. Got a couple of free lines right now. Hello there, Stephen. No, oh, Stephen. Oh, he's gone. Well, yeah. goodbye, Stephen. And thank you for hanging on. Thank you for the effort that you made. By the e way, if you want to get up, get down, and get off with the Kremlin crew, if you want to get off with the Kremlin crew, make sure you you are, in fact, a young blonde. We'd be delighted to meet you. Really? Yes, why not? Why not? So, come on, culture lovers, what's up with you? Has nobody out there in culture-loving land ever seen a ghost? Come yeah, on. of course they have. Let's have a word with Harry now. Harry! How do you do? Welcome to the programme, Harry. How do you do? Oh, have you got a ghostly thing? Uh, don't know really, but I think it probably would fall in the category, yeah. Ooh. It was, um, I ran one over. <laughs> a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it sounds ridiculous. Yeah, I was driving home one night, it was dark. Yeah. And, uh... Somebody walked out in front of me, and I was convinced that I'd run somebody over. So much so that I, I stopped my vehicle, got out, had a look around, found nobody about, like, you know. Um, but I was convinced, uh, apart from the fact there was no actual noise. There was no, 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 there was no bump or... No thud. No, well, but, how did you think that you'd run them over, then? Sorry? Uh, if there was no bump, how could you have conceivably hit anybody? Well... <laughs> you haven't got a big truck that stands sort of three feet off the ground, have you? <laughs> 
No, no, but that's what I say. Um, it, I, I could have sworn I saw somebody walking in front of me. You know, but it was so close that I, I mean, I couldn't take evasive action. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't just swear or break or anything well, like that. Well, th this person, let, let's just describe, because you'd have had headlights on, wouldn't you? Oh yes. It was night and dark and. Uh, yeah. What exactly did the person look like? Uh, just a normal person. Dressed? Uh, uh, I'm just trying to think of the clothing now. Flared trousers or it, anything in, like that? No. Was it colour? Well, I, I wouldn't have got into such detail, actually, but I would have said it was somebody male. Did it appear to be in colour? Because sometimes these are black and white, well, these images that you see. I would have said, actually, probably black and white. There you are, you see? Yeah. Hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> you, you see, the thing is, if it had been flared trousers, you know... Yeah. You well, like I said, I didn't, I didn't um, take any notice of the, uh, the tailor details. Well, OK, what did you make of it, then? Uh, well, uh, I, d I, d I didn't really know what to make of it, but, um, what did upset me a bit was, uh, I was going back up the same road about an hour later. Yeah. And, uh, somebody got killed on the road. Oh, gosh. So that was like, like I said, that was late. Oh, I got shivers all down me back. I don't <laughs> know about the rest of the culture lovers. Uh, oh, I don't like that sort of thing at all. I was a bit uncanny, like. But, um, I mean, I, I Is there any history of, um sort of people appearing on that road or yeah. as far as you know you're the first well, as far as i know i'm the first uh obviously i can't i can't really uh, say which road it was um why not well somebody, somebody might uh, sort of realize who i am what do you oh, mean i see you shouldn't and have been they, and then they might try and link me to this person that uh, got run over you know what I mean? oh i see what you mean you yes. shouldn't you shouldn't have been traveling down that road or something no 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 nothing like that like say Bring yeah. Harry's got a fancy piece down there, do you? I reckon <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I didn't want to, uh, <laughs> want to expose that part of me, but... Oh, I see. So you go around exposing was, yourself was, now, do you? All right, all right. I was at the knock-offs. Oh, I see. Ah, that's better. Okay, talk see, to us. We're friends. I mean, it goes no further. It's just the... The Kremlin crew get yeah. to the bottom line. Uh, Harry, we understand. So what we'll do to preserve your secrecy, we'll call you Harry Z. How's that? Harry Z. Yeah, because we've already got an X. <laughs> yeah, we've Big got an X. X. And we've got a Y, so... Sharon Y. Harry X. Uh -huh. A man, barely. <laughs> All right, so you were there, mm -hmm. coming back. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, this could explain it. You see, this is the common link between yours and Julie's point. Now, Julie's, um, husband had seen this mirage and nearly run the car off the road when he was extremely tired and run down. Mm -hmm. Now, what you've been doing was possibly something fairly active, yeah? Yeah. Fairly energetic? Uh, yeah, fairly, yeah, yeah. fairly draining, yeah? yeah? You've been playing squash. <laughs> That's right. Well, he said knock off. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, there you are. Could have been squash, yes. You were completely exhausted, very run down, and you imagined the whole thing. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm open to any suggestions. But you really can't explain it yourself. I really can't, no. But you didn't have anybody in the car with you at the time. No, that's the that's the unfortunate part. But, <laughs> but uh, like I say, in fact, when I did get home, I was trembling. I was, you know, I was like I say, I was convinced that I'd run somebody over. Yeah. Uh, I, like I say, when, just after it happened, I stopped the vehicle. I so got it, out. hold on, you actually saw a figure in front of a you. A figure appear in front of me, and like I say, if it hadn't been for the the fact that there was no sound. Thought, yeah. I think I would have probably looked for a lot longer than I did. Mm. But I mean, there was this, I mean, to anybody passing by, they must have thought there was some sort of a loony, like, because there I was walking around and looking sort of over the edges and things, like. Well, if it, um, if it were happened to me, I think I would have driven off. <laughs> you wouldn't want to hang well, around for the encore. Well, well, yeah, but I mean, the point is, if, if, uh, if I had have run somebody over. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think, I think what David was saying was that if he'd have got out, and there'd be nobody there. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, right, thank you. Yes, <laughs> and my duty is a good citizen. Well, Goodbye. Well, once I actually realised that uh, I hadn't run anybody over, you know, or not that I knew of anyway. Off uh, you jolly well went. I was off pretty, uh, pretty sharpish. To try and recover. Mm. Mm. Harry, an interesting, uh, interesting situation. No repeats, though. It's not happened again. Oh no, no. You, I don't. I don't be honest. I don't want it to. Have you been on the same road? Uh, oh, yes, I have to travel the same road every night, more or less. Oh, oh I see. Don't forget, tonight Harry's Halloween, <laughs> so make sure you take more care than usual. I should, I should probably see him again tomorrow morning. He's probably this. already Well, if, if you do, give us a call, mate, and send him, send him the Kremlin Crew's regards. I hey, shall, yes. Are you already uh, home now, or...? 
No, no, I'm at work at the moment. Oh, work. Oh, I see. I thought you were at the, you know, the other place. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's Playing squash. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, have a good time, but uh, I won't if you're at work. Okay, thanks. Okay. Bye for now, Harry. Bye. Right, next on the Kremlin crew phoning from Beacon with Myatt and Perry through until one when P comes, comes up. It's Mark. We've got Mark back on. Glyn in a second. Mark. Hello. Hello there. Um, you are the mark whose number ends in 7-1, are you? Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that, mate. I went to get some tea during the interval. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, did he promise to call yeah, back? No, I was yeah. lying. I again, promise wasn't back I, again, uh... myself. He's got a memory like a sieve. <laughs> that is insulting to sieves. If you'd have spoken to me, there would have been no problem. <laughs> 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 All right, Mark, what do you think? Uh, what was that bloke on about? Which yeah. one? Just Harry. Yeah. Harry. Harry. No, he was on a bad... What, what, you picked up halfway through. What had happened was he was driving home, and he yeah. saw this mirage, this person, and he was convinced, he was absolutely certain, he ran them over. And he, <laughs> he pulled up the car, and there was nothing there. No dent, no bump, no scrape, no person. Well, he was probably just... Uh, yes, yeah, so okay. Well, anyway. well no, prob it, probably a lager lout. Yeah. If it was a load of rubbish, why did he get out of the car? He probably hallucinating or something. Hallucinating? Yeah. You think he imagined it, basically? The mind is a powerful organ, my friend. Don't Probably. underestimate it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, have you had any strange experiences, then? Well, I, don't, I think it's a load of rubbish, really. Oh, the whole thing? Well, yeah. Well, what happens when you die, then? <laughs> you rot. You rot? Yeah. Well, if, uh, not if you're burned, you don't. Well, then you burn. Yeah? You so, there's no way you can come back? No, that's it. How yeah. do you explain Ouija boards, then? Well, they're a piece of... Wood with some letters all over them. Yes, but why do they come up with frighteningly accurate, um, statements? Because somebody moves the glass, don't they? Well, I would disagree with that. I've been in a situation where there is nobody in the entire world but me yeah. would have known the relevance of a particular message that I got, and it shook me up so badly, I haven't been near one since. Neither do I have any intentions of going near one. So how do you explain that? What it said was, it spelt out, it reckoned, whatever it was we had on the other end of the line, reckoned that it was my Auntie Margaret who died around about 1975, right? Yeah. So I was going, oh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And it spelt out. I said, if you're my Auntie Margaret, spell something out that I'll know and nobody else will. And it spelt out Duff Budgie, right? Yeah. What are the chances of anybody else spelling out, pushing the glass, to spell Duff Budgie? And the reason, the reason it's so, uh, important was that she used to have a little budgie that couldn't fly, and it was known as the Duff Budgie, oh, right? Yeah. So, there's only I knew that. Nobody else around the table did. Are you convinced now then, Mark? Well, well, well maybe there is something in it, but I think that a lot of people just can exaggerate a bit, you know? Oh, definitely. And a lot of them are just made up, and, but... There's a, something about a dog, you know? A black dog's supposed to be the thing of the devil, isn't it? Is it? You know, you know the sort of dog from Tom and Jerry, the spike dog, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. That sort of dog, but two heads on it. Oh. Spike so, dog. Tom and Jerry, in your view, is devil worship, is it? <laughs> well, sort of. But, but apart I from that, you just, you, apart from that, you have no time for it, you think it's all a complete load of bunkum. Well, I think there's something in it. Maybe. <laughs> but I think there's a lot of exaggeration about, you know. Yeah, fair enough, I suppose. Maybe there is, like maybe, UFOs. Maybe, bit, maybe just 2% of what are, all the stories you hear, right? Right. Yeah. Lots of exaggeration. <laughs> Mark, thanks very much for your call. Okay. Bye for now. Bye. That's well, how we're going to build Glenn. Glenn. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Uh, I'm frightening them here. I'm sitting in the dark. How are you? <laughs> Trembling. <laughs> Don't look over your shoulder, culture love. There's nothing to be scared of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. My story. It's only a short one. Yeah. Um, I was downstairs watching telly, watching Bilko. Oh, Bilko? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I like Bilko. Right, okay. And, uh, I decided, uh, it just finished, the program had finished, so I go for work. So I decided to get off to bed. Now, as I walked past the, the landing, uh, the hallway, when I switched the lights on for the staircase. Yeah. Uh, I just, I missed the switch light because I went up the stairs and I didn't bother to switch it on. So I got halfway up the stairs, I could hear my dad snoring in bed. And uh, all of a sudden I could see this figure at the top of the stairs. And it, I thought it was my dad, that's all, because I could hear him snoring. 
I mean, he, he sleepwalked before he, he stoned himself on the set. He then stares off head through the night. Oh, I've done that, you know. <laughs> Last thing I remember was in a pub. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lager walking, they call it. Yeah, I've, I've done that a few times. And anyway, um, so I saw this figure, and it just looked like my daddy in his underpants. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> a frightening <laughs> sight! Yeah, pretty frightening anyway. So, all I said, I just says, Dad, because I thought he was sleepwalking, and I like, went to touch him, and it just disappeared. Ah. <laughs> and that's the truth, that is. That's really, that's been a few years back. What do you make of it? I, d I didn't even take any notice, really. I thought I might have just... Oh, I, I well, yeah, just, yeah, of course you don't take any notice of that sort of thing, <laughs> do you? I mean, it happens every day, walking up to figures, go, ah, it disappeared. Yes, oh, well, never mind, I'm not worried about that at all. I'd have fled, I'd have run. Well, I know, I've told people this before, and, well, nobody's ever believed me, but, I mean, it was just, it just happened that quick. I thought, as I, because I'd gone up the stairs pretty briskly, like, I yes. thought maybe... It was I bet you went down the stairs even brisklier. <laughs> well, I just switched on the landing light then, because, um, as I say, as I went out to touch him, like, I was near enough for the landing light. And uh, it, it just sort of disappeared. But ah. it, it wasn't it really there as well at the same time, if you know what I mean. Was this, this was at your house, was it? Yeah. At your home? Yeah. I've got to go up the stairs again in a minute. Oh, wait a minute. So you're actually phoning us from the site of the event? That's right. I really don't want you to worry about it. Has it ever happened before? No. There's no sort of recorded instances of... Uh, Sort of nasty, spooky things happening in the house. No, no nothing before, nothing since. As I say, it might have been just as I was going up the stairs quick. Just happened to because I, I can hear my dad snoring, and it, I don't know whether it just and it just looked like him. It looked like he was standing there, as though he's going standing at the top of the stairs. I was about three or four stairs from the top. But that, that's the really weird thing, isn't it? Because um, a lot of people sort of associate apparitions mm -hmm. with sort of life after death, right? Yeah. Now, one of the problems with that approach is that it doesn't account for people who see apparitions of other people who are still alive. Yeah, that's what I say, it looked just like me, Dad. I, I mean, it just looked like him, but it just happened all so quick. To what extent do you think it was just an hallucination? Um, well, seriously, because if you, if you look at it right, we don't know what seven-eighths of the brain does. That's right. We haven't got a clue. Mm. No, brilliant, we've been to the moon, you don't know what your brain does. Yeah. So, I suppose it could be argued that, um, one-eighth of it may be the, just purely to hallucinate. Yeah, as, as I say, I'd say it's about 50-50. I, I, I couldn't put my finger on it. I'll, I'll remember it to this day. It's been about three years back now since it happened. Mm. Well, I hope you have a safe journey back up the stairs. Yeah. If all you right. don't, give us a call, all right? <laughs> if you don't make it, all right? If you get copped on the way back, Glyn, yeah. and, you you know, you get um, slayed by some axe-wielding weirdo, <laughs> right? Thank you. Yeah, give us a ring back. All right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, Glenn. Thanks. Thanks. Bye, bye bye for now. I think that's uh, that sort of set him at ease, isn't it? Yeah. We, like, we like to do our so best. We like to be sympathetic and and kind and generous. Well, I'd hate to think of a culture of going to bed scared, you know. It's Beacon, the Kremlin crew phone in, and joining us now on the line. It's Carl. Where's he been, eh? A bit late, isn't it, Carl? Good evening, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> comrade, Carl. Good evening. How are you? Oh, I can't keep this going. Yeah, I can't <laughs> keep it up either, Jimmy, I'll tell you what, right? Absolutely right, Alex. Aye, Alex! Oh, of course, it's Alex on the phone, Alex! Oh, Alex! Uh, did you hear about the homosexual ghosts? No. They gave each other the willies. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, oh, thank goodness, this, this is an adult show. Yeah, right, this is a really true story. Right. It didn't happen to me, but I'm to a friend of mine. Ah, who's, it's um, that true, is it? He's a farmer, yeah. Oh. You know, he's not given to making things up. He was, um... So he's not a Russian farmer, then? No. <laughs> no, where they make up the, uh, the volume of produce every year, yeah. right, yeah. No, he, he, this, all this was in the papers, but this is up in, um, Ayrshire, um, and, uh, he was out in the field, but you know sometimes you have to go out and tend to the sheep and they get stuck. Um, yes. Sort of thing. I know people who specialise in that. Well, yeah, I mean, this, that's a place where men and men are super nervous, you know. <laughs> I said, can you make a U-turn? I said, yeah, I can make it size water if you, if you give me the Wellington. <laughs> anyway, no, he was... Yes. But in all seriousness, he was in 
the field one night Now the sheep had got stuck in some barbed wire And he'd released it and he was on his way back Making an escape were they? Yeah well they had sort of footsteps behind them You know like in the grass Yeah And when he stopped the footsteps stopped Ah And then they began to sort of get scared and they ran a bit And every time he stopped the footsteps stopped Yeah time to leave that I reckon Well yeah so he eventually was really panicking and he, he ran in the house 